Okay, chat, here's what we're doing today. We are going to do 50 insane, no, not insane, 50 useless video game facts. And this all started because I saw one tweet that said the Metro car in Fallout 3's Broken Steel DLC is a piece of armor worn by a hidden NPC below the tracks. The entire fucking train is just a fucking hat. <laughs> and then uh, I think Kits found the actual footage of it, of you getting in the train. I don't know if it zooms out or not, but this is literally just you <laughs> in a guy's hat. <laughs> and they're just running. <laughs> so what I realized from that, so much of game design is like these fun little weird quirks or hacks that I thought was pretty interesting. So I had Kants, shout out to Kants, compile 49 more facts like this one that we can look together and decide which one is the craziest. All right, next up. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, whilst in an online max raid battle, you can shake your Joy-Con to cheer your teammates on the menu screen. If you pick the Dynamax option and shake, the player animation of throwing the Dynamax ball will not play and your avatar will remain idle. What is this? This is useless. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's the most useless one. That So far, that is the most truly useless fact. <laughs> All right, well, that is definitely useless. Thank you, kids, for finding an actually useless one. Monster Rancher 1, you can get an ape called Shades by using the Billy Joel Greatest Hits Volume 3 CD. Ex Does anyone understand this? I have no idea what that means. Do you have to put in the CD or is there a CD in the game? You swap the disc? You take the, the CD out of your PS1 and put in the Billy Joel Greatest Hits? <laughs> oh, that's actually incredible. That's actually incredible. That, the number of people that would ever try that is could be zero. Uh, Shades, confirmed. He's thought to be born of human ancestry. Does that mean a human fucked a monkey at some point to create a Billy Joel abomination monkey that wears shades? Looking into this. Looking into this, so concerning. In Minecraft, the creeper is an enemy that's scary and... <laughs> Kants, I did pay you money for this. Kants, I did pay you actual cash money as a producer role for these facts. This one doesn't feel like you really... <laughs> this feels a little phoned in. Yeah. And <laughs> he attached a video. <laughs> Well, that proves it. Thanks, Kants. That does prove it. The sound that plays when you receive a gift from the townspeople in Sonic and the Black Knight is the same effect that plays when you give a stat boosting item to a chow. That's so fucking useless. It's not even the same. Is it even the same? Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the same. It is the same. All right, well, fine. That doesn't mean anything. It's the same game. No, it's a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, I finally get it. It's a different game. The lore implications of this are real, dude. Disarming an entire city's population in Skyrim will make the NPCs cheat in combat by accessing hidden merchant chests under the map. The only way to completely disarm a town without cheats is to also buy out every vendor. <laughs> that's, that's a cool fact. That's a cool fact. This is a good one. Did the devs prep for that? I assume it's individual. Like, they assumed one person might get disarmed, so they go buy something else. Just like IRL. <laughs> You'll never take our guns. All right. In Wii Sports, for bowling power throws in the last stage, if you get the ball all the way to the end, on the gutter guard, an explosion will occur, and it will count as a strike. What the fuck does that mean? Please show me. <laughs> You would be the worst fucking kid at the birthday party. <laughs> you just keep spamming this glitch and calling yourself great. <laughs> I used this so much in my childhood. Yeah, that's fucking cool. A glitch is just an intended feature that's unintended. Guys, listen, there's Bionicles on screen. Let's forget about the Wii. The acid flies for Bionicle heroes are made of the same three Lego pieces as were used for the pelvis and hips in the 2004 Toa Metro figures, essentially making them fly in crotches. <laughs> That's such an obscure thing to know. 
you have to really know your Bionicle. Not just the Bionicle uh, show, not just the Bionicle sets. You have to know both inside and out, really. Impressive. Impressive, Logan. Impressive. Today we're going to take a look at the Acid Finally fly. good YouTube. Originally designed in 2006. Quick disclaimer. Any or all of these canon models. If what is this? As accurate, is this possible. Bionicle language? If you want to build this, can, below. someone check and read this, right? So for, the acid fly made its Do I recommend? Dioramas, as you can give <laughs> life to full. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is so in depth for what is three plastic pieces. <laughs> in the after credit scene of Kingdom Hearts 1, Pluto's running animation is cut short and he slides up the hill instead. Let's go! <laughs> that is a good catch. That is honestly a good catch. Wait, <laughs> that reminds me of when I... That reminds me of my own personal foray into digital animation. <laughs> you might notice, I couldn't get the taxi texture to work. <laughs> so... You can't really notice it here because it kind of works for the black part, but it's, it's completely fucked up here. And I couldn't get anything to actually animate, like none of the wheels. So everything just moves in a, in a straight line. I also, it had to be exactly 90 seconds. So every scene you see that has no footage with the text <laughs> is part of my strategy to pad the film. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sick effect, though, huh? Pretty fucking sick effect. What grade did you get for this? A plus, bro. <laughs> ASU? <laughs> but that's not really a video game fact, is it? Let's get back to video game. Actually, that's a great Last of Us fact, because the game was inspired by that. On Dishonored 2, the artist who did the Duke of Circano's terrible self-portrait was too good at painting to make something look bad intentionally. So instead, he copied George W. Bush's painting of Putin. <laughs> <laughs> why why did George Bush paint Putin? This is a fucking article on the Atlantic. There's a Rembrandt trapped in this body. That's what George Bush told his painting instructor. <laughs> Dude, world leaders are just psychos, bro. Straight up. There's no getting around it. Nobody on the Peggy rating board actually played Demolition Girl before giving it the lowest age rating of 3+. plus. <laughs> Fucking three-year-olds playing Bouncing Boob Simulator. Oh, you included footage. Thank you, Kants, for the footage. Wait, is it just you killing a giant bikini girl? Is that all this game is? <laughs> okay, I don't need him to fucking fly it in the boobs or something. Oh my god. If you input the Konami code into Super Monkey Ball Jr., it changes into this. Super nice try. <laughs> I like that. That's a nice, that's a, that's a little step, you know? A little nod to the real ones. That's like when I tried to cheat in Atrio. <laughs> well, it's a little bit worse in my situation because when I tried to cheat in that game, they had a video message from my dad telling me <laughs> he is ashamed of me for trying to cheat. Fun fact, they changed the water height in the Chow Garden from Sonic Adventure 2 between the Dreamcast and GameCube version because it was tall enough to drown Tails. <laughs> is there a footage of drowning Tails? Oh my god, there is! He doesn't actually drown, right? He just... It's just... <laughs> it's just too tall for him. No, there's no... There's no, no, obviously he doesn't drown because they wouldn't even include a... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She, wait. Oh my god, I'm dead wrong. I'm dead wrong. Holy fuck, that's crazy. Imagine the look of horror that Chow had seeing Tails drown like that. That is one of the most cold-hearted ways to drown yourself. <laughs> to just sit there under the water and do this till you fucking die. No struggle, no gasp is crazy. Either way, did you guys know Dante and Virgil have an insane healing factor that essentially heals as the damage is being done? Due to this, they're likely uncircumcised. <laughs> Cats! This is not a video game fact! This is a speculation! 
This is a weird speculation. This is a game theory with a fucking gif attached. Is this the last one? Is this what we ended on? Dante and Virgil are likely uncircumcised? Oh my God, thank you. There's, there's. <laughs> okay, and our final fact, our ultimate fact, the most useless fact of all facts, according to Kant's. In the files of Team Fortress 2, there's a JPEG of a coconut. If you delete it, TF2 no longer will start. It's a load-bearing coconut. <laughs> Is this a myth? Is that even true? Let's find out. Delete it, it breaks the game and no one knows why. It's still an unsolved mystery. Wait, well, thegamer.com wouldn't lie to us. 15 of gaming's, gaming's greatest unsolved mysteries. Diglett's true <laughs> Okay, thegamer.com is not fucking... Thegamer.com is not reliable, bro. Uh, I need confirmation about this. Oh. A coconut picture is not keeping a popular computer game running. It's just a Reddit joke. <laughs> Kids, that was your final fact? Your final fact was a made-up Reddit joke with no basis? I guess that truly was the most useless fact of all. Play the outro song. <laughs> What the, what the fuck? It, 